this explanation shows with the eye consciousness how are the mental factors working together with the eye consciousness dependent on the eye and forms eye consciousness arises the meeting of the three is contact with contact as condition there is feeling what one feels that one perceives what one perceives that one thinks about what one thinks about that one mentally proliferates uh, so th this is the uh, one explains one way of explaining eye consciousness and other mental factors working together but this is actually uh, sutta type of explanation so this is uh, not uh, uh, not uh, concerning only the eye consciousness moment this can be further uh, a I mean, big area considered under under this explanation but you can understand with the eye con consciousness contact feeling perception uh, and uh, uh, and uh, things no thinking or like that many things happen with the eye consciousness now we have been discussing uh, mind sense door process so uh under mind sense to uh chitta viti chitta viti means i don't know exact english word for chitta viti flow flow mind flow we can say it flowing wholesome consciousness mm. so when we look at the mind sense door flows we can divide all the flows into two as sense sphere flows and uh uh I'm not sure the exact word. Uh, flows relating to fine material spheres and supramundane. Fine material, immaterial, and supramundane flows. So uh, now, when we look at the um, fire, I think you remember yesterday we talked up to certain extent. Uh, mind sense to flows there are all together nine uh, mind sense to flows it depends on the um, again the object powerfulness of the object uh, different flows are there so if the object is very powerful then Uh, at the very beginning uh, bhavang and uh, bhavang and uh, shake of the bhavang break of the bhavang and mind do adverting consciousness and javanas and uh, registration and again bhavang uh, if the object is weak <coughs> then at the beginning of the flow more and more bhavangas so uh, yes this is the very short way of explaining sense fear mind flows now when we look at uh, uh, in, uh, fine material and immaterial sphere flows they are different than normal sense fear flows
this. Now, if we look at the uh, first jhana flow, it's like this. Uh, there are nine first uh, nine fine uh, fine material and immaterial flows. They are like first jhana flow, etc. Two, three, four, five. Up to uh, uh, up to nine. But they are five material and six, seven, eight, nine. They are immaterial. So altogether nine uh, flows of uh, mind sense door depending on the jhana. Uh, they are, um, I'll say, now if you look at the, this first jhana flow, it is Bhavanga. And actually, uh, um, they don't consider the Bhavanga, at once they consider Bhavanga Chalana. And Bhavanga uh, Upacheda. And Mano uh, Dwara Vajjana. That is the mind sense to adverting consciousness. Then uh, we call Upachara. Sorry, Parikar. Upachar. Anulo. Gotrabu. Then, first jar. Jan. Jan and again Bhavanga. So now I have to find what are the English words for these words. Uh, how is the uh, Parikam Upachara Anuloma Gotrabu? You can have parikarma nimitta, nimitta even, yes. Parikarma nimitta, upachara nimitta. You can have such nimittas. I think it's called prepared sign, but I don't want to say Yes, prepared sign. Now, as example, uh, now if I explain what is this parikarma means, parikarma means prepare, preparing to attain the jhana. So, consciousness is preparing to attain jhana. Upachara means access. access. Very close to jhana. Anuloma means yes, conformity. Now you have you have aimed to the conscious not not you actually. Consciousness aim to the jhana. Go, yes, go through is change of lineage. Here change means up to here, up to here you are in sense fear. After this go through, you are in fine material sphere. So this consciousness change your lineage from sense sphere level to the fine material level. And this is jhana, that is the, the jhana consciousness. And after that consciousness, bhavan. It is only one consciousness. If you, if you attain first jhana first time, only one consciousness arises as first jhana consciousness. Only one mind moment. And 
afterwards you have to master your same mind same first jhana master your means you have to practice same meditation again and again and again should come to this level once you master once you once you master your the jhana then there are other flows we call it samapat samapajjana viti i am not sure samapajjana means you are dwelling in that jhana flows that shows the dwelling in the jhana so the problem is uh, difficult to find words for this <coughs> Now there is a uh, explanation. The sublime javanas for a beginner during the first absorption and the direct knowledge javanas always run only once. Then comes subsidence into the life continuum. When first jhana arises in, uh, at the first occasion it is only one mind moment and then uh, you come back to the bhava the sublime javanas for a beginner during the first cognitive process in the attainment of any of the jhanas a sublime javana occurs for only a single occasion owing to its weakness due to the lack of re- repetition the javana of the first jhana that performs the role of direct knowledge uh, always occurs for only one occasion even in those who have mastered it Uh, because a single occasion is sufficient for it to accomplish its task so, in a kind of difficult situation <laughs> not easy to explain uh, there, there is this uh, explanation the process of absorption in the occurrence of javanas in absorption there is no distinction between clear and obscure likewise there is no arising of registration consciousness in this case that is in the process of absorption any one of the eight sense sphere javanas accompanied by knowledge arises and ceases four times or three times in due order as uh, preparation access on your conformity and change of lineage Uh, this is this thing i this is the thing i mentioned so this is uh, preparation and uh, access conformity and change of lineage immediately after the after they cease in the fourth or fifth moment as the case may be any one of the javanas among the 26 types of sublime or supramundane javanas enters upon the process of absorption in accordance with the way the mind is conveyed after that at the end of absorption there is subsidence into the life continuum 
So, did you get any idea? No. Now, when you are attaining first jhana, let's say, you are observing breath, and all your hindrances are well suppressed. Mind is extremely pure and clean, and all the wholesomeness is there. And now you are very close to attain first jhana. So in that case, uh, uh, now first jhana arise in a flow, in a certain flow. That flow uh, start from here. Now you are observing breath. Okay. Mind is very clean, very pure, no hindrances. Now there is a shake or change of the bhavang, shake, and uh, then break of the bhavang, then mind adverting consciousness arise, then uh, preparation for jhana consciousness arise, preparation, then uh, access consciousness arise, then conformity consciousness arise, then change of lineage consciousness arise, then first jhana arise, first jhana also only one mind moment, then bhavanga again, again bhavanga. Uh, but once you attain this first jhana, it is very well noticed by the mind because it is such a pure new experience pure wholesome new experience after this bhavanga other consciousness recollect what happened but because it's such a uh, breakthrough uh, they are called um, pachavekkana flows pachavekkana means Recollecting, recollecting flows going on after first jhana. Through these recollecting flows, you recognize that ah, this is the first jhana. And there are uh, at least <coughs> five recollecting flows go because those recollecting uh, flows can recollect each of the jhana factors. Jhana factors are vitakka vichara. Piti Sukha Ekagata. Vitakka means applied thought. Vitakka means sustained thought. Piti means rapture. Uh, uh, Sukha means maybe comfort. Ekagata means one pointedness. These are very prominent and clear um, in this first jhana. So after Bhavanga, consciousness recollect again these five. Mm. qualities. Through that, you yourself can recognize you achieve the first jhana. May I ask a question? Yes. Uh, so when uh, a person achieves first jhana and this uh, uh, happens, this uh, recollecting consciousness, does it mean that five of this recollecting consciousness yes. happen one by one? Yes. Okay. And uh, the second question is, uh, very often people think that they are in first jhana. Mm -hmm. and they are so proud and they are so mm -hmm. uh, but uh, actually they are not. They Probably. may... Uh, Can be this uh, upachara maybe. Because this upachara is a mental state uh, uh, um, exists long time before you attain first jhana. Now here in, in the path it is only one mind moment. But before to come to this path, you always come to the upachara level. But because of other uh, other qualities not yet ripened, you don't get this path, this flow. Until you get this flow, you can come very close to the close to this flow or first jhana flow. But um, you do, it is very difficult. Uh, yes. It, it is difficult actually. It is difficult to get this flow. If you get this flow, then only you get this jhana. But you can come near to this flow. Mm -hmm. 
this coming near means excess concentration. It is it is excess concentration still is sense fear level, sense fear world. But you can easily go to that. Maybe easy, I can't say easily. <laughs> you can easily go to that level. The, that level also you have perfectly suppressed hindrances. Mm. And your faith, energy, mindfulness, one pointedness, and uh, wisdom is there. So uh, many people can misunderstand that level as first jhana. <clears throat> but that level also very close to first jhana. But first jhana is extremely, uh, how say, remarkable, and you can very clearly understand <clears throat> five jhana factors. No, five jhana factors. Yes, vitakka vichara pi tisuke ekagata. They are in in a one mind moment. That one mind moment is first jhana. Now in upachara level, what happens is vitakka vichara piti sukeka gata. These five not come at once in a one consciousness properly. Mm. So, sometimes uh, applied thought and sustained thought is there, but not the rapture properly. Mm. Mm, not the one pointedness uh, properly. Uh, like that, there is a imbalanceness. In the access concentration, but uh, in the first jhana they are well balanced. So we may say that in first jhana they all exist at one level, and in the first jhana they like. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's say first jhana is like this. Sorry, first jhana is like this. Access concentration, access concentration like this, maybe. <laughs> And the first jhana, five hindrances are well suppressed, and five spiritual five spiritual faculties are well balanced. But here in excess concentration, hindrances are time to time, how to insert into it, and five spiritual faculties are not well balanced and not powerful and not equal. This is the biggest difference in between excess concentration and first jhana. So once you attain first jhana, you can easily recognize five qualities. Vitaka vichara piti sukhe kargata. Through that, uh, attainer can understand he has attained first jhana. Uh, because uh, other thing is they are because of these uh, reflective flows, ref reflective flow, reflection flows, he can reflect each uh, jhana factors. Through that, he he, uh, he has the correct understanding of first jhana and he can go again and again to that level because he has very clear understanding about first jhana. He has no doubt about it. So he can go the first jhana again and again. When he go the first jhana again and again, he can stay in the first jhana level continuously according to his uh, according to his uh, talent, let's say. Talent. If he is very energetic one, uh, he can stay in the first jhana continuously Many hours, even now, according to Suttas, Venerable Sariputta, sometimes throughout the whole morning time, he is in the first jhana, and throughout the whole afternoon, he is in the first jhana, maybe throughout the night, he is in the first jhana. In such a situation, the flow is a little bit different. Now, uh, it's like this. Gotrabhu, oh, sorry, first, first jhana, and same consciousness again and again and again and again and again happens without going to Bhavanga. That's the 
uh, that's the thing called uh, dwelling in the absorption let's say dwelling in the absorption this consciousness happened again and again and again throughout the morning throughout the night throughout the day so in, in such a situation throughout the day you don't have any hindrance in the process and mind doesn't go to the bang yes it will be a continuum. So there is no 9 or 10 uh, fine moments, it goes beyond that. Yes. No, normally, sense fear javanas, uh, only 7 javanas at a time. So this goes beyond that. This is not that. This is very different. Throughout the day, you can have same consciousness again and again going. That's the that's the value of jhanas. Now sense fear, now when you look at sense fear wholesome activities, we do normal meditation, we observe precepts, we listen dhamma, read dhamma. All these sense fear activities have seven maximum jhanas. But when you attain and mastery over the jhanas, uh, according to your mastery, you can stay in the jhana continuously. So, once you um, attain first jhana and mastery of it, uh, yes, when, when we say mastery, you have to go to the first jhana again and again and do five, um, five kind of, kinds of mastery. We call them Avajjana, Samapajjana, Vuttana, Pachavikkana, another one, I can't remember. So, after you attain the first jhana, you have to develop ability to recollect it. You have to develop the ability to recollect the first jhana. And, uh, then you have to uh, develop the ability to stay in the first jhana and then you have to develop the ability to come out of the first jhana according to your wish and you have to develop the ability to uh, 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 is, uh, uh, yes you have to ability to uh, Entering is uh, Samapajjana. Avajjana Samapajjana. Huh? Yes, so first one is Avajjana. That means you have to recollect. Avajjana. Samapajjana is you have to enter. Samapajjana. Yes, Samapajjana, yes, Samapajjana, stay, you have to enter and you have to stay and you have to come out as you wish and you have to recollect the, uh, you have to have ability to recollect the jhana factors. So these five ways you have to develop the mastery over the first jhana. After you mastery over the first jhana, then only you can stay like this, continuously in the jhana. So during that period, how about other sense doors? Other sense doors not working. Not working. If you are in the very best way, because you can see from here to here, only this first jhana consciousness going on. And no eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, nothing. Even no mind consciousness. Uh, so that's the I would say sweetness or the value or the comfort in the first jhana. Yes. Uh, uh, when a person stays in the first jhana, this so much long, uh, day and night, uh, does it mean that um, 
some sperm, because nothing is permanent, the egg state is also inside, is impermanent, so the jhana appears, breaks, appears, breaks all the time. Yes, that's so right. Now, the, from here to here, millions of first jhana consciousness, mm -hmm. not one, mm -hmm. millions of first jhana consciousness, but not any other consciousness, mm -hmm. only first jhana consciousness. That's the special nature of the first jhana, absorption. That, that's the real meaning of absorption. You are well absorbed into the first jhana. You don't need anything else in the world. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's that much peaceful and comfortable. <laughs> yes, if you have attained first jhana, you don't need anything else. That's why people attain jhanas and born Again, born in first jhana Brahma world and when they born there, they stay there continuously one yawn or half a yawn, one third of a yawn like that. So continuously they are there. That means continuous fracture, continuous uh, comfort, continuous one-pointedness. So it's extremely peaceful. Now here in human world, there are a lot of distraction and suffering and a lot of problems. A lot of restlessness in human world. But in this jhanic world, there are no restlessness at all. Because you have to suppress restlessness. Sense desire, aversion, sloth and torpor, restlessness, uh, doubt, all these things are to be well suppressed to reach this level. And mind should be very soft. And you, you remember oh, the, the whole, how to say, beautiful 19 mental factors. Beautiful, universal 19 mental factors. They are faith, mindfulness, sadda, sati, hiri, ottap, alo, bado, satatra, majjatata, passaddi, lahuta. Uh, they are tranquility, softness malleability, all these mental factors available in first, first jhana consciousness. And when you attain the first jhana, all these wholesome mental factors functioning continuously in the mind. So it is very good if you, if you, you know, if you can attain first jhana and stay in the first jhana, it is very good. <laughs> so this is the uh, first jhana <coughs> absorption. So, but then now, uh, in this flow, uh, so this jhana is, uh, is it's the javana, if you compare with the previous one. It is okay? javana, it is javana. It is javana, but here, yeah, first time only one javana happens. And these are, up to here, uh, all these are sense fear wholesome consciousness. These four are sense fear wholesome consciousness. This is a, a, a functional consciousness. These two again resultant consciousness. This one again resultant consciousness. Bhavangas, Bhavangas are resultant consciousness. Uh, Manodwaravajjana is a functional consciousness. These uh, four are uh, sense fear wholesome consciousness, and this, uh, these are fine material consciousness, and this is again resultant consciousness. Yes, question. Yes. Uh, Jhanas, they create karma. Yes, yes they create they karma. Are, they create karma. Yeah. This also creates karma. Yes, this, these are karmas. That's why you can be born in the Brahma world. If they are not karmas, you can go there. This is this is a karmas, wholesome karmas. And uh, furthermore, you can understand much more detail about this first jhana consciousness. It has all the universal seven. Pasa Vedana, Sanya, Chetana, Manasika, Jeevitinte, Ekagata. And it has all the six 
occasions itakka vichara viriya piti chanda dinoka and it has all the 19 19 or universal beautiful and it doesn't have abstinence and it can have uh imi- illim- illimitable one and it can have it must have wisdom all the jhanas with wisdom there is no jhana without wisdom but that wisdom is not enough to attain nibbana that's the problem in order to attain nibbana you have to develop another type of wisdom this is basic kali wisdom about uh, jhana and its fruits come and its fruit so this is the first jhana so it's good to think about first jhana and try to attain first jhana <laughs> and if you attain first jhana it is very difficult to give up the first jhana that's the problem so jhanas are extremely sweet and peaceful and comfortable once you attain jhanas you always want to go there so you may not turn your mind to nibba this is the problem uh, that's why vipassana meditation teachers normally not encourage attaining jhanas because they are so comfortable people don't want to attain nibba mm-hmm. yeah. but uh, mm, if you if you how say if you are very enthusiastic attaining jhanas and if you continuously along the path of jhanas uh, then you can attain all the eight jhanas and then you complete that jhana story and turn mind into the vipassana and can attain uh, paths and pushas so is it possible uh, to go to nibbana without mastering uh, jhana The, yes, Nibbana the, the, here is mm, can a person go mm, Actually, this is the technique or this is the way um, these meditation centers teach. Mm. These meditation centers now all over the world, other than one, other than one school, all the meditation teachers today discourage jhanas mm. and try to show the path to Nibbana. Mm. But there is a one school they encourage attaining all the jhanas and even psychic powers uh, and then vipassana and attainments of paths and pushas because uh, this path is path need great sacrifice you can't do all other things and attain jhanas and uh, keep the jhanas in order to attain and maintain the jhana you have to sacrifice your life for the jhana your place you are living your way of life your association your circle of people you are associating your food and health and uh, your view and all these things should support to the jhana to attain and maintain the jhana so then it is uh difficult that's why meditation teachers today not encourage jhanas and they try to show the vipassana path but if you can achieve jhanas and uh, without clinging to jhanas if you start to practice vipassana you will be very successful vipassana meditation meditator because by the jhanas you can easily suppress all the hindrances hindrances are the things hinder the vipassana but if you have jhanas you have well suppressed hindrances then easy to do vipassana so do i understand right that the um, the more number of jhanas mm-hmm. jhana for example jhana number 8 uh, it means that all your hindrances are very 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 much suppressed that's right but the, but um, regarding the eighth jhana nobody can do vipassana using eighth jhana other than the buddha because it is so subtle 
So there you can't find, you can't see impermanence, suffering, non-self, these things you can't see. Normal person can't see. So up to seventh jhana, normal person can use to do vipassana. But eighth jhana can be used by buddhas. Again, I have a question. Uh, you say that uh, in eighth jhana it's very difficult to see these uh, three characteristics. Uh, and in another jhana, is it easy to see them or not? Uh, uh, even other jhanas, if you have enough wisdom, uh -huh. then only you can see. Uh -huh. But regarding eighth jhana, you can't develop such a wisdom. That's the problem. Uh, so this is the first jhana path and when you master your first jhana and you enjoy as much as you like first jhana then one day you may feel first jhana is gross you might feel first jhana is gross if I can have finer jhana it is nice you will understand you may understand the first uh, I mean, first factor of the first jhana is very gross, mm -hmm. applied thought. So you may think, if I can have a jhana without applied thought, it's it's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Then you have to um, you have to give up first jhana and work hard to attain second jhana. The nature of second jhana is you don't have applied thought. Application is something happening again and again. This is actually gross activity for a person who has jhanas. So if you don't work hard, if you don't, say, if you don't do anything and you just go to the jhana, it is easy and it is more comfortable. So second jhana is such a one. Yes. And. Uh, so, in order to go to the second jhana, you have to go one step back from. I no, mean, when no. You, or is it a continuous? I'm in the first jhana, and then I, from the first jhana, I can go directly to the second jhana. The first no? thing, is, first you have to attain first jhana, and then you have to come back. Come back means move out from the first jhana, uh -huh. and you have to contemplate the back. Back, drawbacks, drawbacks of the first jhana, mm -hmm. an advantage of the second jhana, uh, and you have to deter, maybe deter, yes, let's say, determine to go to second jhana with the understanding of drawbacks and advantages of each jhana. Mm -hmm. okay. Then you can reach to the second jhana. Always, this is the way. Now, after you master the second jhana using that five ways. Uh, they are avajjana, um, samavajjana, vuttana, pachyakana, etc. Avajjana means you have to recollect, you have to enter, you have to stay, you have to come out, and you have to re uh, reflect. So these five ways you have to mastery over all the jhanas. Uh, let's say first jhana you have to mastery over that using these things. and. Uh, then you feel it is gross, then you have to think about the advantages of second jhana and enter the second jhana. And uh, after sometimes you may feel second jhana also gross. Then you have to um, think about the drawbacks of the second jhana and advantages of the first, uh, third jhana. Then you have to meditate again and go to the third jhana. Like that always uh, you have to First, yeah, now when you when you want to attain first jhana, you have to think about the advantages and peacefulness of the first jhana. But after you attain the first jhana and you how say, you quench your thirst about first jhana, and after you enjoy first jhana as much as you want, then you have to think about the drawbacks of first jhana mm. and advantages of second jhana. Mm. This process going from beginning to the end. That's the way you pass jhana one by one and go forward. Mm. Okay, no? Fear, no? So I wish.
May you all attain jhanas. <laughs> Thank you.